As I mentioned in the monologue, it is not unusual for people to save autographs or items, you know, just being touched by famous people. My first guest took this to a rather an extreme when he saved the remains of a buffalo sandwich partially eaten by then Vice President Richard M. Nixon. And the sandwich has been in his family's freezer in Illinois for 28 years, and by golly, he brought it here tonight. Would you, would you welcome Steve Jenny? Steve, well, did I pronounce your last name right, Steve? Jenny? Yes, you do. Okay, well, this is a first for us. Uh, now, now, folks, don't, don't groan, you don't. Now, you've had... <laughs> is that what you usually get when people find out that you've had a partially eaten sandwich by... Yes. Former President Nixon for 28 years. Well, not that many people know about it. Uh, yeah, well, there. Until now. They're going to tonight. Now, um, you've had this in your freezer where? And it's, this is still rather that, rather chilly right there. Yeah, it just as is. It's inside a, this jar, inside a plastic bag, inside my mother's freezer well, for let's, 28 years. Let's go back to this momentous <laughs> day in history and find out why a, a, a grown person would do something like this. No, I wasn't grown. Yeah. That's right. You were much younger, weren't right. you? Uh, uh, how did how this come? Where were you, and uh, what was going on, and uh, why did you decide to do this? And okay, it was uh, September twenty second, nineteen sixty. Uh -huh. My hometown, Sullivan, Illinois, population thirty nine hundred. Um, they had already had a couple of uh, buffalo barbecues, and they wanted to do an annual thing. Mm -hmm. Well, for this pol particular political day, they invited and he accepted Mr. Nixon, who was vice president at the time, uh, to give a speech of uh, thirty minutes or so. Mm -hmm. And around around that was this Buffalo uh, barbecue gala event. Uh huh. So, um, <laughs> I was a Boy Scout, 14 year old Boy Scout at uh -huh. the time. So um, they let the schools out, of course, and they formed the the barriers, the barricades for the motorcade and everything. Well, my particular duty was to be around his picnic table where mm. he was seated. He and his wife Pat was there. Right. So. Um, he took three or four bites out of this buffalo barbecue sandwich, mm -hmm. got up to leave, and uh, left it there on the on the, the little paper plate, which yeah. I have with me. Oh, you, you saved the paper plate, too. Saved the paper plate, right there. Well, this is it. That's it. And it says on here, may I read the sure. inscription? This is the plate on which Vice President and future President Nixon ate, ate, ate at the buffalo barbecue, September 22nd, 1960. <laughs> yeah. well, you could probably sell this to some museum. A very pathetic museum, but no. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, so when did you decide to uh, to grab the sandwich? As soon as he was done. Uh -huh. <laughs> did you have any idea at that time what you were going to do with it? Were you going to eat it or were you just... No, um, no he, he had gotten up to leave to mm -hmm. make his speech. I mean, nobody else thought of it, I guess. Uh, oh. Obviously. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Most people, I think, when people finish eating, don't think of going and, you know, and, and grabbing the remains of the meal. Uh, and it's never gotten them on this show. Either, that's true. And you're here and there, sitting that's back right. there. So. Still sitting in Sullivan, right? <laughs> right. Uh, is this now defrosted? or For the first time in 28 years. Oh, my God. Completely defrosted. you want to see it? Let me take well, it. now do you feel that this is the end of it? No. Heavens no. I hope not. Well, if it's defrosted, what are you, no, you going to do? I'm going to refreeze it. Think. Is it is it already <laughs> defrosted? Uh, yes. I Should be. May I? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is in a in a bag, mm -hmm. and I don't think it's necessary. People can actually see the teeth prints, probably. <laughs> right here. <laughs> so you kept this in your uh, in your. In your mother's freezer. Right. Well, what does she say about this? She said, "You still want this barbecue?" Yes. <laughs> and what are you? And what are you going to do with it? What, what are your plans for this? Uh? To uh, hang on to it for as long as I can. Uh, Have you had any offer for this? Is there any intrinsic value in this uh, this thing at all? Uh, no, not until your people asked me to come on your show and show this to millions of people out there. <laughs> yeah, I guess we did. Um, <laughs> now, <laughs> have it. Did the freezer ever shut off or anything? I mean, have you had a close call with this thing? Uh, well, <laughs> I don't know. Twice. Twice? Mm-hmm. Uh, had two occasions. One occasion, the first occasion was when we moved from, um, from Solomon to Springfield, which is 70 miles apart. Mm -hmm. uh, but we kept it frozen then, obviously. Good, good. The, the second time was... Uh, <laughs> 
when we had a, a major power outage for three, four or five days, uh -huh. big, big ice storm. But uh, <laughs> hey, but my dad had a generator and kept it cranked up. And uh, standby generator, you mean? And you yeah. flip that on and then save this. Yes. <laughs> How do we know that this is the act? I mean, anybody could say. I mean, Steve, I'm not, you know. That it's Nixon the sandwich. Well, actually, I'll show you why, folks. Here's a copy of the paper, right? Uh, one of the yes. many. Yes. And it shows him actually eating. Yes. Right? Right. So, we're not going to... Uh, right there, folks. <laughs> kind of authenticates it. There's a major portion of it missing, too, though. So yeah. kind of uh, authenticates it. Okay, so you're going to refreeze this again. Yeah. And you brought some buffalo? Yes, I did. People think you're joking about a buffalo. Uh, this is actually buffalo? Yes. Buffalo meat? Buffalo barbecued meat that uh, I had to uh, have flown in from Seward, Illinois, just outside of Rockford, Illinois. <laughs> is it edible? S-E-W-A-R-D. Is it edible? Yes. Uh, May I? I hope. Yeah, please. What do you mean hope? <laughs> It's just like sure. any other beef. It's supposed to be lower in cholesterol than uh, regular beef. Okay. Also. Hmm? What is this? <laughs> yes. Greg, I'll take a bite out of this, and then you can join this here. <laughs> now. Oh, you want the napkin? What? You want the napkin? Mm. Very good. Sure. You want the napkin too? Sure. Well, you're a nice. <laughs> well, Steve, you're a weird collector, but this I is know. this has been a first for us. Uh, I, you probably should get this immediately into the freezer. I will. And how about this? You really gonna? Sure. You're not gonna. You watch me. Uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Thank, Thank you. Being here. Get that in the freezer right away. Right. There's your plate. Thanks, Mike. Okay. Thank you. All right, go. Go. Go, folks. Don't believe this. A man been hanging on to a half-eaten sandwich for 28 years. Steve Martin will be out here in a moment.